Marcus Conti reporting on Trump going ballistic on Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, the third most powerful person in the country, leads the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi. And so what happened? What's the big stir up, man? Fucking Trump just like ripped into it. What the hell? This is fucking crazy, man. So so Nancy Pelosi, according to Politico, is um, behind the scenes. The, the lovely Nancy Pelosi, 79, 80 years old Nancy Pelosi, is told Democrats she'd like to see President Donald Trump in prison. I don't know, right? She said about the impeachment stuff, she's, she's backing off impeachment, and we'll listen to what Trump said. It's just <laughs> it's a staggering, staggering response. I don't want to see him impeached. I want to see him in prison. Pelosi said, according to multiple Democratic sources familiar with the meeting, instead of impeachment, Pelosi told, uh, still prefers to see Trump defeated at the ballot box and then prosecuted for his alleged crimes, according to sources. His alleged crimes, right? We're Trump. Right, so here's Nancy Pelosi, wants to see Trump locked up. She hasn't pushed back on it. It's, it's Politico reporting. Pelosi hasn't pushed back on it to say it was a lie, so she clearly said it, right? So listen to Trump's Trump's fucking response. Past Nancy Pelosi, as we were walking up to the stage earlier, um, she said some pretty harsh things over the last 24 hours, leaked out from her caucus. She said, I don't want impeachment, I want him in prison, meaning you. How do you work with someone like that? I think she's a disgrace. Uh, I, I actually don't think she's a talented person. Uh, I've tried to be nice to her because I would have liked to have gotten some deals done. She's incapable of doing deals. She's a nasty, vindictive, horrible person. The Mueller report came out. It was a disaster for them. They thought their good friend Bobby Mueller was going to give them a great report. And he came out with a report with 13 horrible, angry Democrats who were totally biased against me. A couple of them worked for Hillary Clinton. They then added five more, also Democrats. With all of that, two and a half years, think of it. From before I even got elected, they've been going after me, and they have nothing. Do you mind if he testifies still before you said you didn't care? I, Mueller testified. Let me, let me tell you, he made such a fool out of himself the last time she... Because what people don't report is the letter he had to do to straighten out his testimony, because his testimony was wrong. But Nancy Pelosi, I call her nervous Nancy. Nancy Pelosi doesn't talk about it. Nancy Pelosi's a disaster, okay? She's a disaster. And let her do what she wants. You know what? I think they're in big trouble because when you look at the kind of crimes that were committed and I don't need any more evidence and I guess from what I'm hearing there's a lot of evidence coming in but you look and then ask Nancy why is her district at drug needles all over the place it, it's the most disgusting thing what she's allowed to happen to her district with needles with drug addicts with people living in the middle of the streets with people living on the sidewalk you can't go she ought to focus on that because she's a disaster. And she made a statement. It was a horrible, when you nasty, were overseas. vicious statement while I'm overseas. Now, if I made any statement about anybody, it would be like a big head. Why would he do that when he's overseas? She didn't want to. She is a, a terrible person. And I'll tell you. Her name, it's Nervous Nancy because she's a nervous wreck. On Tuesday, uh, Joe Biden once again down. Amazing, right? This shit is crazy, man. Fucking Trump. That's Trump going ballistic. What did he say? So, I, I mean, it's almost sad because the president of the United States is now going full throttle at the Speaker of the House, Democratic leadership, right, and uh, calling her a liar, D -d -d a disaster, nasty, vindicative, horrible person, right? But, but the real tragedy is that the president is being accused of, of crimes and, and threatened with prison, the president of the United States then turns around and says that that the crimes that she used that that term crimes committed by the Democrats uh, there's investigations going in. Look, nobody's going to go to it's all it's all flex, it's all fluff. Trump is the president of the, of the United States. He couldn't get a single indictment, not even on like a a, a low level operative like Imran Awan, you know, the the spying guy, right? Nothing. Nothing, right? Can't get an investigation into, uh, you know, Seth Rich. Can't get a dismissal. Can't, you know, uh, uh, dismiss the charges on Julian Assange. Nothing, right? Nobody, none of Comey, McCabe, nobody ever went to jail. Nobody, 
Nobody was prosecuted. Yeah, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It's coming. It's coming in the future after Donald Trump, uh, after the election. I know. That's what Q said. Right? So, but you got you got Nancy Pelosi too, um, making these allegations, threatening each other with prison, and nothing happens. Right? Nothing. Nothing ever happens. Now, is there is there hope for any of this shit? Is there is there any hope whatsoever? Uh, so here's another. I just I just want to talk about this briefly, and I'll let you go. So, the so Democrat progressive plan will here's the lies. I just want to double down on some of the lies. Right, like yesterday we saw you know Tulsi Gabbard. If you watch those videos, we saw Tulsi Gabbard, honest, hardworking people behind her, people that know the policies, right? But but what we what we have instead is this uh, lying, cheating machine, propaganda machine. Trump locking her. Trump threatening to lock up the. The, the the House the Speaker of the House, the House Speaker threatening to lock up Trump. Right? It's all bullshit, right? Nothing ever gets done, right? So here's the Democrats being smeared, right? Taxpayers, progressive plans will cost taxpayers trillions of dollars. I got a billionaire, too. Watch this guy try to jump in on the smear. They're nervous right now because the progressive wing of the Democratic Party looks like it could win if they don't cheat or if they actually stand up for themselves and and allow Sanders to win. That looks possible. So, so taking the cake would uh, would be they're accusing Medicare for all. Bernie Sanders leading the charge on Medicare for all. He pretty much invented the thing, right? He, he was saying it. He was saying it before anybody else was saying it, and he stuck by it when the Democrats uh, copped out to Obamacare. And so they keep running this number, $32 trillion. That's how much it's going to cost. $32 trillion. They're going to bankrupt us. They're going to, they're going to kill us, right, over 10 years. Right? It's, a, it's a fake number. Right? And they always lean on McCaskis Center at George Madison University. That's the source. So we look at the source, right? And what is it? It's to say that Medicare would add 32 $32.6 trillion to federal budget committed over the next 10 years if implemented. The project increases federal health care commitments would equal with whatever, right? But here's, here's the deal. Here's the real stuff, right? The federal government will become responsible for financing nearly all current health plans, including individual private insurance and state spending. Stop right there, right? We've already said that Medicare for all, it eliminates private insurance. Right? So it's just a just briefly to say that the, the when you hear that number 32 trillion dollars for healthcare it's actually far less than what we now pay and and more than half of the country is not covered. So it's just a it's just a fake number, right? The number the the price of things come down. The the cost of pharmaceuticals for medications come down. The cost of care comes down. You eliminate the the uh, insurance companies Completely, and 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 there's a trillion dollars right there a year, uh, so it's just it's just fake numbers, right? So here's here's this jack off, right? His name is uh, Drecken Miller. You see this guy on Squawk Box quite a bit. He's a billionaire. It's a hedge fund monster. M- m- more money than than ten people can count in a in a in a lifetime. Right? That's how much money this guy's got, right? So listen listen to this jerk off. Listen to him talk. If Bernie Sanders is elected president in bad shape. I think he will win if he runs against Comrade Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. He's talking about Trump. He's talking about, listen one more time. I think he's in bad shape. Trump is in bad shape. Listen. I think he will win if he runs against Comrade Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, but I think it's very, very difficult for him to beat any centrist candidate when I look at the county. Because of the tariffs or because of something else? Because the tariffs are hurting the... The strategy is to promote the centrist candidate. The billionaires want to promote a centrist candidate because they know the centrist candidate will lose to Trump. That's the strategy. So this guy, I know he's convincing. Oh, he's so he, he he's so sincere and and listen to what he's saying that the centrist is the favorite. No, the guy's a fucking salesman. The guy is a billionaire, billionaire money grabbing salesman. And now he's on Squawk Box promoting the centrist candidate. Right? Because oh look, if look first of all, if a centrist candidate is going to lose, is going to beat Trump, right, right, 
why would you why would you fuel the centrist candidate? Just stick with Trump. You you make him billions of dollars, right? If you really wanted to Trump to to no challenge to Trump, you would put the money behind Sanders because you're saying that he's going to lose. So listen to what he says. The auto industry or other places. I'd or? say a lot of it, Becky's because of behavior, uh, soccer moms. He doesn't need yeah. to lose one. Don't forget, he won these states by less than half a percent. Right. Um, listen. Moms, he doesn't need yeah. to lose one. Don't. Something else. L- listen to listen to his rationale. Listen to his listen to his logic. Any centrist candidate, when I look at but the county, because of crazy the tariffs gets, or because of something else, because the tariffs are hurting the auto industry or other places. I'd or? say a lot of it, Becky's because of behavior, uh, soccer moms. Why why would a centrist be better because of behavior and soccer moms? That's his that's his rationale, because of behavior and soccer moms. He doesn't need yeah. to lose one. Don't forget, he won these states by less than half a percent. Right. Um, my old stomping grounds, Pittsburgh, has gone blue because high techs moved in there and it's booming. Pennsylvania is is tough, and he doesn't win without Pennsylvania. You think, uh, and, and you're. But yes, Becky, one, okay. one more thing. He and Pence keep talking about the booming economy and the booming this and the booming that. If you don't think we're going to be booming in 18 months, and that's clearly a risk, I don't see how he wins. Now, a little bit of truth, right? Trump keeps talking about booming economy, booming this, booming that. And how does he win if, if it's just if people realize that it's all just a big fat lie? Right? Yeah, he told a little truth. Because I don't know what the narrative is going to be. If uh, you think it more likely, I guess, a Biden or a moderate is the candidate, but you're... No, I don't know who the candidate is. But if, a cra- if no one idea. of the crazy ones did win and did win the election, he calls him, this is, he calls him the crazy ones. He does, calls him crazy. I know, I know you want your entitlements and you want your safety net expanded. And no, I, th- I thought, no, I, I know, think but, being crazy was a liability. In all country. right, but if, if, if they do, you think that would be bad for the stock market if Bernie, if Bernie or... Bernie Sanders Olivia- became president, I think stock prices should be 30 to 40% lower than they are now. The good news is we'd all be much more equal because everybody would be poor, but the rich would be have lost a lot more wealth than the poor would have. And you have no idea whether uh, whether they run someone like that or whether that person could win. You think Bernie, I don't think Bernie Sanders could win the general election, but I could be wrong. I don't either, but uh, you know, stranger things have happened. The young people love him. The young people, by the way, who how can you be under 30 years old and vote for Bernie Sanders who wants to give more money through more entitlements to old people? I just don't get it. If you, if you agree with this guy, if, you, if you're on the centrist side or you believe in Trumponomics and, and trickle-down economics, because that's what these guys are saying. People say, oh, Trump doesn't have an ideology. Trump does have an ideology. Trump has a Wall Street ideology of screw the poor people, just do whatever we tell you to do, and everything will be fine, and the markets will go up. So, so I mean, it's just a, it's just another billionaire's point of view. Will the market get rocked if 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 you have a? Uh, will the markets get crushed if Bernie Sanders wins, lose forty, you know, thirty, forty percent? Absolutely, right. The target would probably be Dow, uh, S and P Dow, like in the you know, I, I can't throw the numbers at you, at you right now, but basically ten thousand points less. Uh, which is what I predicted a bunch of months ago. Now, if <laughs> so, so why do I bring it up? It's like because because what what you have is again you have Trump cursing out literally cursing out Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi threatening Trump with jail. Right? You got the billionaires stepping in trying to trying to rig the rig the uh, the, the 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 populace c- manufacture consent. Right, that sort of thing going on right now. Everybody's chirping in right now, and um, the lies. Thirty-two trillion dollars for healthcare. Right, it's a good time. It's exciting, right? It's exciting. There's a lot going on right now, right? So, what is the answer? Well, I I think I know the answer. I think that the answer is to, is to put in one of these so-called progressive candidates, Bernie Sanders. Let the let the let the Democrats coalesce around Der- Bernie Sanders. Get healthcare passed. Build the cabinet, stop the wars. You got Tulsi Gabbard in the pocket there. You got Elizabeth Warren who knows how to break up banks and get busy and start to start to deflate the thing the right way. Not by creating stupid, you know, tariff wars with with uh, foreign nations, but address the the real problem, which is corporate greed, 
here at home. Uh, and and that that that's how you do it. Now, is it is it even possible with a you know as a billionaire Drucker Miller, Drunken Miller, <laughs> Drunken Miller? That's the guy's name. Drunken Miller dumps a billion dollars into to a corporate uh, you know a, a centrist Democrat, right? So that he loses to Trump and everything stays the same. That's the strategy, right? Because if they wanted if they wanted you know to again as I said before if they wanted if they wanted Trump absolutely to win, right, they would pick the lesser candidate and back the lesser candidate, Bernie Sanders. Well, not back anybody. Right? Just get out of the way and let Trump win. So it's very confusing. But, but uh, anyway, Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, kindly become a Patreon of this channel. I moved everything around, so I don't know where to pl- poke. Ah, there it is. Ah, there it is. So uh, if you can become a Patreon of this channel and... Uh, Don't forget to subscribe. Mark Sconti reporting.